Writing functions in slope intercept form is important because we can easily get information from the equation. So to start with this, we're going to review slope. Remember that slope is the steepness of the line. It's a ratio of the vertical change to the horizontal change or rise over run. Another term for slope is rate of change. The types of slope are positive slope, where it's increasing, negative slope, where it's decreasing, undefined slope, which is a vertical line because there is no horizontal change, and zero slope, which means there's no vertical change. To find slope from a graph, you're going to find two good points and then count the rise over the run. So in this example, I'm going to use this point at 0, 3 and at 3, 5. And I count my rise as 1, 2 and the run as 1, 2, 3. So the slope is 2 over 3. To find slope from a table, you're going to do the change in y over the change in x. So the change in y here, I am decreasing by 4. And then my change in x, I am increasing by 2. So negative 4 over 2, and always simplify if you can, simplifies to negative 2. To find slope from two points, you're going to use the formula change in y over change in x, substitute in the two order pairs into the formula, and solve. So in this scenario, I'm going to call 2, negative 1, x1, y1, and x2, y2. All right, so my change in y, I've got 2 minus negative 1. And my change in x, I've got 3 minus 2. So 2 minus negative 1, that's 2 plus 1, is 3. And 3 minus 2 is 1, which simplifies to 3. So the slope is 3. All right, that's just a little review. So to write in slope-intercept form, first, what is it? It's a form of equation that represents a straight line. And the equation provides the slope and the y-intercept. What does slope-intercept form look like? It's always in the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, and B is the y-intercept. To write an equation in slope-intercept form, you can do this from a graph or if you are given two points. When writing an equation in slope-intercept form, if given a graph, you're going to pick two points on the line, just like we did when we found the slope. Use those two points to find the slope. That's going to become your M. Then write the coordinates of the y-intercept in the form 0, b. So you're going to look for where the line crosses the y-axis and find that ordered pair. Write the equation, substituting the values in for m and for b. If you're given two points, you're going to find the slope using the slope formula. Then substitute one of the points in the slope into the equation y equals mx plus b to solve for b. Write the equation, substituting the numerical values in for m and for b. Graphing using slope-intercept form. First, determine the y-intercept and the slope. So you can write it next to the equation m equals and b equals. Plot a point at the y-intercept. Remember, y-intercept is b. Then, from the y-intercept, use the slope to move up and down rise and run, left and right, to the next point. Draw a straight line through the y-intercept and the second, third, or fourth points. Try to do as many points as you can to make sure they are all on a straight line. So we're going to use these steps to practice slope-intercept form.